These are the best highlights from the matchup between Bro and HLE during the 2024 LCK Summer Split. Wall to catch up to Young Jay did not hit the wall. And uh, now looking for a play on Adoran, who is level six, but this is three people, including Palu, who is here in a 3v2. And Peanut's like, man, I don't, I don't know, man. I can't help you here as to knock into the wall and a potential flash, but Doran just gonna hold on to it. First blood given over to Young Jay as they're already making plays with their hefty amount of CC. I love how that was played by Young Jay. Sure, Carl a little bit late because he missed the wall hook, but he's still there. They have three members. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about with Talia early. So far, so good. Yeah. Also, on the opposite side of the map, we did see Viper and Delight able to push in and pick up a plate, and still Viper's ahead by 12 CS down there in the bottom side. So, yeah, he is going to hit level 6, but now he knows he might be in a bit of trouble. The Wombo Combo comes in, and Paula will go down, and it will be a flash out of Viper just to get away, as Envy trying to go 1v3 here, but takes some damage from Peanut to push him back. So will be Young Day to put, uh, pick that one up. I mean, Doran is way up in this lane, by the way. Yeah, this time he doesn't have Peanut either, so the flash ult comes in. He's just going to flash under turret, but that's a hook, and oh, he dodges the knockout, but it doesn't matter. And by dodge, I mean Paula pulled him out of it, of course, and but yeah, it was a weird word choice. <laughs> eh, I wouldn't choose that one again. He wasn't, he wasn't hit by it. Um, True. He, wasn't, he was not stunned he by it. He evaded it. Um, he yeah, has a tail and flash. This is a Skarner, but there's just way too much CC and damage. I mean, even with Peanut at this point in the game, able to burst through Skarner, who doesn't have many items at this point in time. So a nice dive from Homily Esports as well. This is still good for Bro. I mean, Doran doesn't have ult. He doesn't have flash. That's another root coming in. And this time, he is not going to evade that knockup. But nope, it's not going to matter. The passive doesn't keep him alive. And once again, Young Jay picks up another kill. So I mean, Peanut showed bottom. They knew the timing of where he, when he was going to be there. Skarner buys a decent amount of time. Like right now, he's got bombies, plated steel caps, and he had a tier lead. I think he had that cloth armor when he was dove bottom side. But this is just like, no, I I just auto attacked him, and then I hooked him. Like he cannot move. Um, and. They're just able to utilize it once again. It's now Young Jay is in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have flash, just gonna get isolated. Palu just throws in the ult as Kar is trying to ult out to Viper as well, but I think he's about to be turned onto by the rest of the team here. He's trying to take a Viper, and he will actually. And now Envy maybe trying to get something going. Palu trying to frontline for him. Some low health bars here on the side of Homolite Esports, but Envy all alone, Envy. not sure. I mean, he's really gonna try to push this one. The cleanse coming in, and he's just gonna die. Triple kill over to Zekka by the end of it all. The Spellblade item was a Sheen and a <laughs> Warhammer, I think is what he had. Like, he's still yeah, gonna yeah. kill you there. Um, and yeah, that ends up being a, the a thing of a bob. Yeah, the, yeah, the little blue thingy. <laughs> you had one. <laughs> yeah. Um, like some draft, we talked about the tools that Bro have. Like you mentioned how simple it is, the CC is. Oh, we're going to talk about this later. Well, they're going to do it again, but yep. this time it's on Sejuani. And Peanut, you know, he hasn't died in this game, so he's very well fed. And he does have already the Zeke's and the Giant's belt. So even with like full combo into a Sejuani, you're not going to do much. Well, as you say that, they're trying to set something up, and this bottom lane turret is quite low. Peanut level 11 at this point in time as well, and Palu is two levels behind. He's just going to be isolated, throws the ult in, and he does buy a lot of time for the team. Peanut does get chunked out. The ult sent in, and they take out the Sejuani. It's a trade, and that's a good one for Bro. Envy, you know he wants to pull the trigger once again. He wants to get in there. This time he's not 1v3, he's taking a lot of damage already though, and Hamalei Peace Sports are backing up, they are respecting this, but can they get away is really the question. The knockup comes in and the CC chain is there once again for Bro. The poke is legitimate from Viper at this point in time, and even Zekka can do some good damage, but they're not really in position to challenge this one. Peanut not here, they go for the turn now onto Delight, but Nobody's really there, and that wall, very awkward, doesn't really get anything going, as now Paulo just has to flash away. And, uh, nice, nice try. N nice effort. Yeah, I mean, it good was work. very proactive as Karis. Yeah, I mean, his Yoni's been pretty good so far. The light is right? just sending it in there, and now gets the ult onto the back line. The follow-up, though, is not there, and Palu is going to go down. Morgan in a rough spot here as well, 1v5 himself. It's a double kill for Viper. It looks crazy. It looks wild from Delight, but it wins the fight for Hamalai Esports. CC chains can be quite deadly still, so Hanwa will have to wait for minions. Back away, go down to the bottom side where zekka has been pushing. They want to ult into the Skarner here. Morgan, he is tanky, but he's not tanky enough. 
And just just the amount of damage that Viper and Zeka have is more than enough on this Kaisa. And now Look the at that. inhibitor goes. Oh, he's going to send it. Paulo, he wants to get in there and start a fight. But the team is just not there. I mean, Cars and Morgan were not in range to follow up on that one. And now Morgan in a rough spot. Finally lands the first impale of the game, I think. Not really his fault. But now Karis also going to go in and die in mid unbound soul as MV as well just goes away. And it all falls apart like a house of cards. I mean, I respect to the try there from Paulo to send it, try to make something happen. But it was desperation as Bro had so many chances in this game. And now it's all over. Yeah, well, at least it's, uh, it's over quick. <laughs> Uh, bro, you know, they didn't back down. They tried to take some fights. They knew what their composition did, and they tried to play into it a bit more. Delight even going to live, as he won't burn down either. So this game is going to end in 26 minutes. Nice try from Bro, but Hamalai Esports, the team that we expected to take down the first victory here, will in fact do just that and take the lead in the series. I mean, realistically as well, like, it can fulfill a similar role to Alistair. Like, you don't need to stomp the lane, and I feel like she has a bigger chunk of damage this time around. As now, we're trying to gold card and stack some damage into that Skarner, and yeah, he's been shoved under the turret. Morgan in a lot of trouble as Doran just gonna tank it up perfectly. Do they have the damage, though, is the question. One more auto will get the job done with the red card, and Doran, he's walking it off, and he will survive with the pot as well. If eSports starting off this game, in a much better spot. Yeah, unfortunately, just Morgan has to back here. He's kind of frozen and hold up. Oh, the double stun from Palu and the CC chain is amazing. And Viper's like, oh, I can't do anything about that. I'll just accept my fate very nicely. Grub's very useful for a Twisted Fate. He's left alone in a side lane, so get a Consolation Prize here, but a kill plus Dragon. Go the way of Rion, and once again, he's going to walk. He's going to utilize the walk strategy to not get hit by the Seismic Shove. Meanwhile, Peanut level 6, and he is going to force that flash, but here is Doran as well, as Karis just being bullied under the turret 3v1. Trades really paying off for Zekka. Ooh, as they are trying to turn this one onto the light, but that is a level 6 Zeri who is going to force them back as Young Jay is here again as he is trying to punish onto the light as the old will come out, but he has already taken too much damage. And that one will go the way of Envy as just destroying Horus in this lane. Peanut's coming back. <laughs> this is not a replay. Oh no, he doesn't have flash this time as well, so Peanut's just going to try to run into that one. It's nicely uh, broken up here by Zek as he steps in front of the Yone ultimate, and that will be the end of his stacking kills like she did in game one. And speaking of which, Skarner ain't tanky, and the entire team's up here once again. Morgan is going to try to flash away as Viper is tanking the turret. The Impale comes in, and Doran actually will go down. So Lord Morgan, amongst all those things, will be able to trade a one-for-one one in the die. Lane, so ends up being kind of a big win here for Bro. I, I'd say big, small win. That. This is going to get Just really kidding. awkward here for Bro if they really want to force the issue. Well, that's going to be an ult on Envy to get away, but that is a Kaisa. It doesn't matter, though. Paulo's eating way too much damage, and he will flash to try to get away, but this is a Zeri after all. You're not getting away from that. So Viper picks up a free kill, and they will also pick up a free Rift Herald. It's the first big 5v5 potential fight of the game as Youngjae. No, oh, flashing on him here as well, and uh, really no hope for Youngjae in this one as he's even going to get blue carded down and you're not even worth my mana yeah. <laughs> because he has too much money like that just takes time for the tier to stack <laughs> he's just got it so early he's so big and now keepers verdicts back up as well for delight so doran's just gonna deny the rift heralds he's gonna send it back and it's still gonna be killed <laughs> so <laughs> no denial of the 25 of things i mean bro have Close the gap on this streak. If they can isolate a target with that CC. Oh, they're trying to get in onto that back line, but Morgan gonna miss the appeal, and that Keeper's verdict is gigantic. It gets everybody out of the fight. Palu and Envy not allowed to be there, and so that's just a dead Skarner, and will be the first Mountain Drake over to Hamalai Esports. But there has certainly, okay, hold up. That, like, that's a bit aggressive. Well, it's just having fun now. Like, that's just happy gaming, and you know what? Viper is gonna get the kill. He does have to flash and cleanse for it. A very I said, look, there's been too much bro activity in this game. <laughs>
I want I want some of that. <laughs> I've seen yeah. I've seen Envy try to outplay bot lane. I've seen some more can the issue is Zekka in terms of like AD carry champs. You've also got TF, obviously. Um, but there's just so many threats that, yeah, you might get Zeri, but you don't have anyone else. And now, taking a look at this, the CC team coming in from the side of Hamalite Esports. They're really smacking them down with their wallets now. <laughs> in case you forgot, 9,000 gold lead, I'm like, I'm aware! All right, well, the Impale comes in, but... Let the minions get it done! I mean, this is just... Even the Destiny, just for Vision and the Brush, like, there's a control... The drain, it's circling the drain so early that it's... We got put in, like, the awkward caster spot where usually, like, I guess it's too early in the season, but we talk about movies and stuff, but Envy yeah. is at least a big flank here, but he is going to get punished for that. I, I feel like, you know, you do kind of have to send Hail Marys at this point. It is in 9,000. Morgan! We're not going to get to talk about Fury Road because Delight is on a bit of a Fury Road to take out Morgan once again. Viper having the flank here as well. Palu nearly going to go down, finally bites the dust, as Morgan, by the way, is still alive. He's going for a little journey here. And uh, I have a feeling this is not going to end very, very nicely. For the him. saddest recall attempt I've ever seen. Yeah. Lickiest days. Died six times. Maybe lucky number seven is on the way. Yeah, right, could, right, Wolf. Could, uh, could be. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm leaning towards not at this moment in time. But oh no, don't do it to Young Jay. Delight. Now they know, and now he's dead. <laughs> I mean, or well, I guess they're okay. They're they're surprised actually, but but yeah. Now 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 he's now he's now he's dead. Yeah. Well, ni nice try, Paulo. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I I'm struggling. Like, to are we react about to get Yone ulted or right something away, like with yeah. this? Like everybody's like, oh, hold on. Oh no, no, he's just back there. Like, okay, kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it was kind of like that. Like they expected something more, and then it's just like Paulo <laughs> galloping by on his horse. Kind of sad, but. The wall is going to come down. One last attempt. Delight still has his flash. And at least this game has lasted for longer than the previous one, which is kind of impressive. Yeah. And try to utilize this Baron buff for a little bit more in the mid lane. Look, Bro Leavers vote no on Surrender on this one. I yep. All right. Big ult. All right. Nicely done. And now you just Peanut. go to a front line. Peanut going to throw that in. A very nice zoning ultimate to zone them away from this inhibitor, and that is two inhibitors down. Hamalai Fee is going to overextend, but... It's rough, too, because Hamalai Fee Sports have been very clean with it. Even their reaction to seeing Palu just in the bottom lane by himself, they're like, hold on! Or is this the end of the game? I don't think they're getting out of this one, Wolf. Um, even that ult is going to keep everybody here. He's like, I, wait, I don't want to hit them! Yeah, like, <laughs> I purposely missed that, by the way. Uh, don't mind me. Yeah, they're, they're just all dead, guys. Uh, even MV, he is trying to take the 1v1 versus Viper, and he will take him down! Nicely done by MV. But unfortunately, his team is still going to lose. As uh, <laughs> they're going to try to stop the base from going down here, but this Nexus turret still going to bite the dust. Very honorable way to go out from Bro. John Valdez, I promise you. Uh, I know some people are starting to get skeptical, <laughs> but they are going to get this Baron. Peanut survives. Doesn't have Smite, but it's okay. They don't need it. You give the they'll give the Baron their ability to push down this final inhibitor. The bottom inhibitor is about to respawn, and they oh. push that out as <laughs> they were going in, and then uh. they were going out real fast. And uh, Paulo's in a bit of trouble. He's going to magnet storm just out of desperation as they're just unkillable. They're, they're all so tanky. Morgan has no impale, so he can't actually grab anybody. Peanut is tanking this one. Okay, Karis getting in there. He is going to do some damage to Zekka. And uh, yeah, the turret's still going to go down, guys. I mean, they, they have a giant safe of money that they are now dropping on the heads of Bro as they will finally put them out of their misery, it does look like, as this one will go the way of Homolite Esports with a 18,000 gold lead at 31 minutes into the game. GG 2-0 from Homolite. It was slow. These were some of the best moments from the matchup between Bro and HLE during the 2024 LCKS Summer Split. Which moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.